Hi, this is Robert Proctor with Multisoft Corporation. Today's training video is on how to add a new party as a distributor. Uh, if somebody wants to register for your party, they can click on parties and host a party. Once they click on host a party, it will send an email notification to the distributor that somebody wants to host a party. And from the back office, uh, you will see requested parties. You can go ahead and accept that party. Let's say that somebody hasn't submitted a party. They've spoken to you on the phone. They've sent an email. In order to get to the add new party as a distributor, you go to parties. You click on parties and it will bring up your party plan dashboard and my parties. To add a new party, you simply click on add new. And right here, you can determine who's going to be hosting this party. I will host this party, which means uh, I will receive the, uh, the credits, the free gifts, the half price gifts, the free shipping. I can select a customer or a friend that's already registered uh, as a customer uh, or somebody that's held a party before. Or I can click here to invite one of my friends that will send them an email that I would like them to host a party. I'm going to go ahead and at this time, I'm going to pick a customer or a friend. And we're going to go ahead and let's see the name of the hostess. We can go ahead and pick a hostess here. I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, Kelsey is going to host the party. And we're going to put Kelsey's makeup party. And you can see here that the company has determined that the maximum number of days a party can be is seven days. We're going to go ahead and select next Saturday for the party. And we're going to have the party. Kelsey decides she wants to start the party at uh, 5 o'clock. The party is going to end the same day. And the party is going to end. Let's go ahead. And she wants it to end at 9 o'clock. Uh, we can also determine, is this a one-day event party? Is this a multiple-day event party? Is it a one-time event party? Does it reoccur daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly? Uh, Kelsey may decide that she wants to have a party every Saturday. At the same time, we can go ahead and select that this is a weekly party. Right now for this, it's going to be a one-time event party. We can now upload an image. And I'm going to go ahead and select, I had a party image in here. Go ahead and select my party image. I want to go ahead and set a little bit of width and height here on the image. This is what's going to appear on the registration screen. I'm going to go ahead and crop that. And let's put that in. Uh, we can also determine, can people register for the party? If it's going to be in advance and it's not going to be an online party, or if it's going to be an online party, you can go ahead and let people register now. You can all decide, also decide, do you want to let people shop before the party? Or if it's going to be an online party, you would probably not even have a register now and you would just have a shop now. So if it's going to be a future party that somebody's going to attend their home, it would just be a register now. If it's going to be a party that people can shop before the party, go ahead and click on shop now. Uh, if it's going to be just an online party, you can just click shop now. Uh, you know, Kelsey's got a small living room, so we're only going to allow about 20 people to come to the party. Go ahead and put in the address here. When they're registering for the party, this will also give them a map and directions to the party. And we can also decide whether we're going to require the host to accept the invitation for the party. You know, I may be, you know, Kelsey may have spoken to me on the phone. She definitely wants to have a party on this date. Or I may just be thinking, hey, it's a good idea. I'm going to suggest to Kelsey that she, uh, she has a party. If she doesn't want to have the party, she doesn't have to accept the invitation. I spoke to her on the phone. I know she's going to have the party, so she does not have to accept any sort of invitation. And come to, uh, we'll put Kelsey's. Makeup party and earn some free and half price gifts. This is always a good one. Wine will be served. Okay, we're going to go ahead and save that party. Oops, didn't put a party end date. Let me go ahead and select the party end date at 9 o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and save that party. And now if we came to the parties for Kelsey's party, 
underneath upcoming parties that would show on the party registration page. I'm going to go ahead and go back. It says that my event's been created successfully. And hopefully you receive some value from this. If you'd like some additional information on how to add a party into the system, uh, contact a Multisoft customer support representative or contact your Multisoft account executive. Hope you received some value from this today. Have a great day and we'll see you on the next video.